Oi gente, tudo bem com vocês? Bem-vindos de volta para um novo vídeo. Hoje é um dia muito, um pouco triste, porque só um semana até eu sair do Brasil. Só so, este fino fim de semana, fino fim de semana em Brasília. So it's the last weekend with Tommy's family and well, today we're going to have a chasco, no paki. Um, so yeah, I just want to kind of film it, document it a little bit for the good memories and to share with you guys uh, something that I find personally uh, quite Brazilian, quite unique about this country is to go into a park like this and having a big uh, chasco. I mean, we try to do it in England, but we don't get the opportunity to do it very often. So yeah, I wanted to document today because it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice day. It's gonna be a good day. A very Brazilian way to spend a Sunday. Also, at the end of this video, I got a little surprise I want to share with you guys. So um, make sure you stick around and check that. So yeah, guys, let's uh, let's let's enjoy this day, this final weekend in Brasilia, one of my last weekends in Brazil before I had to go back to the UK. <sighs> yeah, a little bit sad, a little bit downbeat, as we say. Let's go to the park and check out the Chasco. Also, I just wanted to say, if you've been watching my channel during my time in Brazil, you know I've made a lot of travel videos. Um, I still have many more to come. I'll be still editing and uploading them while I'm in England. So there are still a lot of adventure videos to come from Brazil um, that I just haven't had the opportunity to edit yet, but they will be coming soon. So yeah, there will be some more fun videos. Um, to come from Brazil on this channel so make sure you keep looking out for that and of course before we start this video give a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel so inscribe no meu canal me siga no Instagram vamos lá so some of the things we're bringing to the chasco bit of ice so I've learned this in my time in Brazil Thank you, Thais. You bought one of these. Um, it's probably one of my favorite things I've bought in Brazil so far. It's how Brazilian, officially Brazilian it is. It even has the flag on the, on the lid. So yeah, I'm gonna prepare my, my little ice box to bring to the Chahasco. This will just be my personal storage. Huh? It's, as you can see, it's quite small. So it just has my name on it, it's for me only, my, my hands only. Basically, just <laughs> beer and cachaça. The same thing. So, this is the technique. Is that my the old skull beat suit, just in case things get a bit wild. Have some more beers in the fridge, I think. So only a few really, isn't it? There's not many, uh, there's not many drinkers in the uh, Chahasco today. It's just going to be pretty much me. So, um, yeah, I don't have that many beers. Be nice. So here it is, guys. The Chahasco. Ting pesci, linguiça, e some other things, huh? I think it's a porco, a key. So this is the uh, Parque Nacional do Brasilia, Parque do Brasilia, something like that. You can see everyone comes here and you can set up and have your chahasco here. I love this. We don't have anything like this in, in England. You just have to bring like your own barbecue to the park and most parks they don't allow you to do it anyway because they don't trust you and they think you're gonna set, set a fire. So I love that this place has like actual built chahascos for you to use. Super cool. Nice to be there's a key. The pomoso. No, Uber. Iguanana. Que isso? Uber, de novo. Is it? Yeah. Seems over. Yes, Fanta, over. Eat Coca Cola in another, another box full of ice to keep it cold for the day. Have some homemade pibi. There's a little bit of katapiri inside. Tommy's mother made this last night. It's super early, it's like 11 o'clock. 
and um, Tommy's parents spent last night preparing the food and they had to arrive here at 8 o'clock and they said when they they, they arrived here at like uh, like 8.30, 9 a.m. this morning because a lot of people come here really early to start preparing the food and to be able to get one of these chahascos because it's basically whoever comes here first gets the best one basically. Some of them are a bit broke so you need to make sure you come arrive early otherwise if you arrive late you're not going to have anywhere to, to make your chahasco. So yeah, they had to arrive here at 9 a.m., like 8.30 a.m. Um, and we came after to meet them here. Um, but now it's it's like 11 a.m. and it's, most of the chahascos are already in use. So it goes to show how popular it is in Brazil. Now. Foi, mas não tem, tem problema. Bonita, não? não, pega aqui, pega aqui. Pega aqui, pega aqui também. Esborna, baby. Esborna, baby. Yeah. Isso é muito legal. Isso é muito Deixar na mão do Gonçalo e do Natanael. Isso é um pouco burnado. Eu gosto. Eu não gosto. Isso é caro, não tem isso. É, deixa de palhaçar que eu não estou nem comendo. O que é que na hora que eu coloco? Olha. Tu fica aí na, na palhaçada. <risos> que isso? Que coisa besta! Tá falando com o peixe? Com o peixe! Foi tu que deixou queimar, não foi o Natal lá para o Natal não deixou queimar, não foi o Natal lá para o Natal. Meu nome é Tato de Pesci. Nós não fazemos peixe no churrasco na Inglaterra. Nós apenas fazemos peixe no churrasco na Inglaterra. Nós apenas temos peixe e chips, não é? Então, o peixe é o tambaqui. Is it actually a river? It's river fish, no? The river, the fish, the tambaqui. Hmm. Tambaqui is a fish in the river, right? Yeah. 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 Agua dulce. Yeah. Agua dulce. How did you say? Yeah. Agua dulce. Agua dulce. River. River fish. My mom. He is from the Bacia Amazonica. Mhm, mhm. He is the tambaqui. Jaraqui, Jaraqui, é, Tucunaré, Tucunaré, é, que são os, vamos dizer, os, os, os peixes mais procurados uhum. pelos turistas são esses três. Ah, entendi, entendi. Três peixes, três peixes. So this is tambaqui. What's the name? It's typical, right? Tambaqui. 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 The peixe is tambaqui. It's a river fish from, hey, from the Amazon. Hey, put a serra aqui in cima da mesa. Dentro da onde? Aqui. Muito Não. bom. Ali, Muito ó. bom. Peixe. Uh -huh. <laughs> so because Tommy's uh, grandparents are from the Amazon, they often cook this type of fish. I don't know if it's common in uh, churrascos of like, I think it's more common in, from people from the north to do peixe no churrasco. I don't think it's so common in other regions, but I like it. It's very good. Okay. eu tenho uma missão, missão para esse batata frita, ruffles, eles são muito bom, gostei muito, acabou, estou pôr em away, estou pôr em away, então gente, amei o churrasco no parque cidade, foi muito legal, gostei muito, todas as comidas e um pouco mais tempo com a minha família brasileira. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a nice way to, to spend a Sunday and this is our last weekend in Brasilia. So, 
yeah, before we go back to England, so it was a great way to spend, perfect way to spend a Sunday. Um, yeah, it's always it's always a strange time for me because obviously I'm excited to, to go back to England and see my family, but also I'm sad because we're leaving Tammy's family. So it's a contrast, a very mixed, mixed um, emotions at the moment. And obviously as it comes closer to us leaving Brazil, I get, get a bit sad because I really enjoy my time here. It's not only because I, I really enjoy to travel in this country, but also the fact that I feel very comfortable here because I have a family here who who treats me like like I am their son. I feel like I'm I'm home already, you know. I don't feel like it's like when you live when you go to another country. Usually you miss your fa you usually you feel quite lonely. You travel, you enjoy, but usually you feel quite lonely. But I never get any sense of loneliness because I have, of course, I have Tammy, but I also have the family here, um, which we spend quite a lot of time with. So I do I do. When I'm in Brazil, I do feel very comfortable here and I feel like I can easily spend a lot of time here. So yeah, it's always sad, always a sad time to leave. Um, but on a brighter note, guys, <laughs> I wanted to, on a brighter note, guys, um, let's lift the mood a little bit. I want, wanted to share something with you because when I arrived in Brazil, before I left to come to Brazil, I brought some little snacks that I wanted to share with some of you guys and I haven't I really I wanted to do it in person, but I haven't really had the chance to do that. Um, I take the blame for it because I should have facilitated it. I should have done a better job in making that happen. Um, but what I want to do now is I'm going to give them away. It's like a competition. So the best way for me to do that is via my Instagram. So if you're interested in this little British care package, then go over to my Instagram and check out the post there. There will be instructions on how to enter the competition there. I'll show you guys what exactly what I have. Talking of gifts, Tommy's uncle gave me this little Chahasco set that was actually his and I seen it and I commented, I was like, that's really cool. And uh, just before he left, he said that you can take it with you back to England. So very kind of him, I was so like, so chuffed as we say. This is very cool. I love making Chasco in England, so now I have my own little Chasco kit from Brazil. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So I just have some little like some little dulcies here. These are like very famous chocolates in England. Um, so we have little miniature ones. So it's all the variety here. Um, I have some more very famous typical chocolates from England. I have this, which is quite random. Uh, it's a mini Christmas pudding. So it's just for someone who's curious about British stuff. If you want to try a Christmas pudding from England, this is a mini one that I will be sending. Of course, the classic baked beans. I actually don't like these myself, but these are for you to try. So if you want to try them, apply and try. <laughs> but I don't recommend myself. <laughs> and this again, probably not very nice, but it's just something typical from England. We have a lot of meat pies in England, and this is like, um, yeah, it's one in a tin, so it, it has a long expiration date on it. Then you can just put it in a microwave and try it out, see what you think. A few more things, uh, the Jaffa cakes, they, they did quebrou un poco, no avión, but they're okay, they're still okay in there, they still, they still survived. Another typical sweets. And this is custard. It's a dessert we have. All you need to do with this is mix it with a bit of water and it makes a little dessert. So you can try this with perhaps the Christmas pudding. I recommend it as a combination. So guys, if you want this stuff, then go over to my Instagram. I'll be sending it all together, um, hopefully on Wednesday, because that'll be my last day in Brasilia before I head over to Sao Paulo. Um, so I want to send it here. Um, so yeah, we'll be giving it away on Wednesday. So go over to my Instagram, check out the instructions and enter the competition for a chance to win it. Um, until then guys, like I always say, make sure to keep watching out on my channel. There will be some more videos of my adventures from Brazil coming very soon. I've recorded a lot. I just need to edit them all. So there will, even when I'm back in England, I'll still be posting videos from Brazil. Um, I've got a lot in the archives to, to do. So yeah, keep checking that out. If you haven't subscribed, then make sure you subscribe now. And Genji, ati mais, ati logo. Ciao.